Alright, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing good. So, super sunny today. So I'm probably kind of washed out on this. I look pretty washed out already. But, yeah, we're going to be talking about perch fishing today. We're going to go over some tips, seeing as, you know, it's sunny. The fishing's not actually that bad. I've just fished for about 10 minutes. Had a nice perch. I'll put a picture of that there. A few small ones as well. So I'm kind of looking forward to get back fishing. So I'll put a couple of those fish in, uh, yeah, after this. But, we're going to be talking, I get asked quite a lot, how to catch more fish how to catch more perch and uh yeah we're gonna go over that today so we're gonna go over five tips hopefully help you guys get more fish on the bank and uh yeah have a load of fun fishing which is you know the main goal or it should be the main goal for fishing anyway so five tips we're gonna start straight away we're gonna get into number one this is the most basic one and probably the most important to be fair and is you've got to find the perch you can't just turn up a canal and expect them to be in front of you. I mean, sometimes they are. Like at this time of year, they are pretty spread out, you know. You'll find a lot of perch everywhere. But if you really want to find them, especially in winter, you've got to put the miles in, you've got to find the features, you know, even if you can't see them on the side of the banks, you know, like where on this canal I'm at today, there's features what you can fish to, like bridges, edge structure, and things like that. Sometimes you can't, sometimes you've got to comb the bottom of the water, find the drop offs find you know big snags that are in the middle of you know the canal or the river or the lake or whatever and these are the spots that tend to hold perch and there's no there's no shortcuts around it really apart from unless you know someone who's you know got spots to give you or you just watch youtube videos and nick my spots um but yeah find the fish is the main thing um cover the water you know put something basic on put a little shad on like I, i'll tend to start with a smaller shad like six centimeters something like that. it's not too small it's not too big comb the water you can find out where the fish are see if you get a few bites mark those areas put a little bit more time into the areas where you've got the bites and uh yeah just pay your dues put the time in catch the fish remember the spots and then head back to those spots put a bit more you know effort into it and you'll catch catch the perch basically so yeah that's the first tip cover water it's the same same tip i always give people for pipe fishing cover water find the fish find the structure find the features and you know different waters are different fish hide in different places you know on this canal you catch them in the edge other canals you'll have drop-offs where you'll catch the fish or rivers you'll you know you'll find them in slack bends and things like that so uh yeah you need to put the time into the water that you're fishing find the fish and you'll catch more fish it's basic but a lot of people don't do it just go to the easy looking spots and uh struggle so that's tip number one tip number two is you've got to try figure the fish out as well you might you might find the fish you might get a couple of bites and then struggle you need to kind of get into the minds of the fish what are they feeding on what depth are they feeding at you know how aggressively are they feeding you know you don't want to be fishing a ned rig on the bottom when you can see the perch hitting bait on the top that's you know that's not what you want to do so you need to try and uh yeah get into the minds of the fish find out what they're feeding on how they're feeding you know if you're if you're somewhere that's heavily populated with crayfish put a creature bait on if you're somewhere where they're fishing eating a lot of fry or at the time of year where they're eating a lot of fry put a little shad on or a little crankbait you know super slow not catching much there's perch brushing on the surface right behind me so yeah i'm kind of excited for a top water even though it's bright so I'm trying. But uh, yeah, like I say, seeing the perch bus behind me, I'm gonna throw a top water at them because if I'm fishing on the bottom with a shad or a ned rig or something like that, I'm not gonna catch them. Um, and it's as simple as that. It's like, there's an example, you know, I came on the canal sometime last year, there was a guy drop shot in who'd not had a fish, but I could I could see them in the edges hitting bait. So I put a little jerk bait on, first cast, 30 centimeter perch, next cast, 30 centimeter perch. And you know, it's, it's you might you might be comfortable fishing the slower techniques or the faster techniques or whatever but you need to be willing to adapt to, for what those fish are after you know small shad like this you can fish them slow you can fish them fast so they're quite versatile but sometimes you do need something really aggressive and noisy and on the flip side something really slow and subtle especially for more pressured fish so tip number two match the hatch find out how they're feeding and try and replicate that Sometimes it doesn't matter too much. Sometimes they're just on it and they'll eat anything. But yeah, a lot of the time you need to figure the perch out again. You figure out where they are and you need to figure out how to catch them. Okay, tip number three now. It's hmm, something that I don't really do myself to be honest with you. Um, but it does definitely, when I have done it, 
on hard conditions it does help you catch more fish and it's finesse your rigs up a bit you might be fishing a five gram jig head know there's perch in front of you not getting the bites go down to a two or a three gram jig head you might start getting bites that slower fall rate can make such a big difference and again with the leader sizes as well i tend to fish with i think this is a one point uh, zero point one five leader that i'm using right now i'll tend to just stick with that i could if i'm struggling go down to a, like a two pound three pound leader and that can make a massive difference on pressured fish whether you're getting the bites or not so finesse your presentation up you know go for if you're fishing bright and you're not getting bites go for a more natural color lighter leader lighter tackle um subtler movements in your bait you know you don't want to be super aggressive with it if the fish are just not in the mood and uh yeah so finesse your presentation there's a bunch of ways you can do it smaller hooks lighter weights things like that but uh yeah that's tip number three okay right, so tip number four it's kind of similar to the other tips to be fair but it's experiment with low size and low presentation you know you might find the fish uh they're there but they're not biting you know you might be using a seven eight centimeter lure try downsize that they might feed and on the flip side try upsize that they might feed on that so I've had situations before where I've not been catching fish and I've put like a 12 centimeter shad on and then started catching. It's like sometimes they're just keyed in on the bigger stuff and on the flip side as well when they've been pressured. Sometimes they're used to that same size that everyone uses. Everyone uses sort of five to ten centimeters. You know, go above that or below that and you might catch more fish. So tip number four, change your size up. Go bigger, go smaller and yeah it can make a massive difference. Sometimes it feels mental like I never used to fish big, I used to always fish small for perch. Started fishing bigger and I started catching bigger perch. It's, uh, you know, it makes sense, but it's kind of hard to commit to, you know, sticking like a, a 10, 12 centimetre bait on. I keep getting bitten by horse flies, that's why I keep fanning myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of, it feels kind of weird going for perch fishing and sticking, you know, like a 12 centimetre lure on, but it does make a difference. Sometimes that's just what they'll feed on. And on the flip side, again, you know, sometimes they'll just hit a four centimetre lure or a five centimetre lure and, you know, you might be feeling too big for them. So, yeah, tip number four, experiment with sizes and profiles, you know, it's not just about the length, you know, the thickness of the baits, how the tail f swims in the water and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's a lot of messing around you can do, but once you've experimented, once you put the time into the fishing, you'll learn what works where and you will catch more fish. Alright guys, tip number five for catching more perch on lures. Now, you've, you've found the location, you've found what bait they want, but you're still not getting to bite. And this tip is kind of a big deal on some waters anyway, and it's the time of day that you fish. It's super convenient to go out fishing at like uh, midday, like I am now, or, you know, straight after work at five when it's still bright, sunshine and everything. But if you get up at four in the morning and go fishing, you will realize that you catch a ton more fish, especially in the summer as well. Like the fish will feed in periods. They'll feed before it gets too hot. They'll feed before it gets too bright. And the same on the evening as well. You know, they'll feed, they'll start feeding again on that twilight time when, you know, the bait fish can't see quite as easy as like the perch sneaking up on them basically so time of day is a massive thing like i'd say the perch are feeding in front of me right now at this time of day I might come back to this spot in the evening and not get a bite you know this might just be the time that they feed in this spot so every every water is different you know some waters will feed in the morning some waters will feed in the night some waters will feed in midday i've heard people say that they can go to waters and they'll only feed between like two and four in the afternoon and all this weird stuff but again it's another thing that you've got to figure out for yourself and that's the whole journey about lure fishing like with bait fishing you know you can stick a worm on and the fish will eat it because it's natural but lure fishing there's a lot more to it you know you've got to pay your dues you've got to go out you've got to find the fish you've got to put that time in learning the waters learning how to fish you know a lot of people fish the same waters as i do and struggle and it's simply because they're just going at the wrong time of day using slightly the wrong method for the weather conditions and things like that and yeah you, you just really need to learn learn the waters learn how to fish every water is different like i say and um yeah the more you fish the faster it will be for you to learn how to catch them on different waters if that makes sense so you know like 
this canal I fish quite a lot you know I know I know where the perch are I know how they feed when they feed and yeah I've learned it whereas I could go to a different canal and blank whereas other people might catch a ton of fish and that's just because they know the water's better and yeah that's about it really so five tips find the fish find what they want finesse it up if you're still not getting bites try different bait sizes and profiles as well and obviously you know cranks jerks spinners stuff like that mix it up between your types of bait and then last but not least find the right time of day link all those five things together and you will start catching them off at perch i can promise you that so yeah i'm gonna start fishing now because i can see a lot of fish moving still and i want to catch them so hopefully i do catch them i'll put some in the uh end of this video hope that was helpful for some of you guys hope you enjoyed and yeah i'll try to keep it quick so yeah hopefully we'll catch some fish now if not catch you next time right just filmed perch tips video oh there we go i was gonna say i'll see if i can uh show you some perch but oh it's far enough <laughs> chuck it on the drop that cast back to that same spot so when it's taking it on the drop like that you know that they are sort of mid-water i'm not gonna let this go straight to the bottom this time again see if that was another bite straight away that was about two foot under surface so another bite that's three bites already in two casts um yeah what was i saying yeah it shows that they're not on the bottom i'll probably do better with a a crank there or something kind of mess the jig up a little bit then still pretty sharp <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna leave the shot on for a little bit though a little kofi bleak a little six centimeter one there we go hooked up that time third cast Ooh, try to land them quick get them back quick but yeah <laughs> oops nice perch I say about time of day, you know, a lot of places, it's like, it's literally like 12 o'clock right now, or half 12-ish. Um, a lot of places you can't go to and just catch perch like this. This is, yeah, strange that they feed at this time here, but it's what time they feed. So that's what time you fish for them. And there's another, yeah, two and two casts. Um, well, uh, like I say, you can go to another place at this time of year, at this time of day and this time of year. Not get a single bite at midday. Because the perch just won't be switched on or you know move to different spots or whatever but yeah midday at this spot seems pretty good just catching small ones i did catch a decent one before i started filming but yeah you know midday perching as another <laughs> as three and three casts and as you can see they are nailing it as well, so they are well and truly feeding. They're not just swiping at it anymore like they were when I first got here. So let's take advantage of the feeding window. Like I say, I'm not letting this go down to the bottom. A lot, of, a lot of people always let the shad sink straight down, but I'm just fishing this, trying to keep it two or three foot below the surface. Like I say, crank would be way more suited, but. And again, another little thing to point out. I had three fish in three casts. This cast went slightly to the right, slightly more to the right than the rest of the cast had. No bites, just cast that back in the same spot where I had the three fish. You know, it's only 10 foot difference, but there's a bite straight away. So just, there's a bite straight away. So you need to be as accurate as you can with your casting where the perch are. Keep casting to that same spot. Where you're not getting bites they're not just gonna suddenly turn up there you need to move around cast to different areas and while there's perch over that i'm gonna keep casting there if i can ruined my streak a bit now but three and three cast eight my going um speaking of the perch just being on the surface i'm not sure you're going to see on this camera right down here in the edge if you can see there's about 20 perch sat a foot under the surface just chilling um and they're probably the same on that far side as well let's see if i can put a cast past these ones and see if they'll eat it um but yeah that's why i'm not catching on the bottom i'm catching them two or three foot down oh yeah they're hitting it oh a pike just swiped okay <laughs> i see that big swirl a, a, a pike came off one of the perch that was hitting it that was funny 
don't know if it got a perch or not, but it's uh, definitely swiping at them. I haven't scared them all the way now. <laughs> They're still there going crazy. Oh, there we go, hooked up. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, finding that depth is crucial right now for these little perch. There we go. It was over there. Just a little guy. <laughs> right, I'm gonna uh, wrap this up in a minute. It's catching perch, super easy as you can see, but yeah, we found, like I said, we found where they are. They're next to the structure in the edges. They're about two foot under the surface and they're hitting bait fish. That's another bite. <laughs> this one talking crap. Um, another bite and another bite. So many perch right now. Um, but yeah, I hope that this video has been helpful anyway. And as you can see, you know, like I was saying, right time of day for this spot, even though it's not the right time of day for most spots, is right now. Um, we're finding near the structure in the edges. Find out what they're chasing, which is bait fish. I've seen tons of little bait in the edges and they are nailing the little shads. So I'm not gonna be fishing a Nedwig on the bottom or something in a situation like this, where I can see the perch actively chasing. And yeah, fast, they're taking it fast. If they weren't hitting it, I'd slow it down or I'd speed it up and figure out what retrieve they're taking it. But that's all it is, figuring out how they're behaving. Different day, could come here tomorrow and not get a single bite at this time of day, but yeah. <laughs> right on the money today i think so that's going to do it for this video guys hope the little demonstration at the end showed you sort of what i was talking about i hope the five tips help and yeah i'm gonna get catching some perch again because they are fired up right now so uh yeah hope you guys get out catching perch soon and yeah i'll catch you in the next video which i might film right now.